from the welding area. Now, how long does somebody usually have to study an apprentice before you let them put fire to metal? It just depends on the person. Okay. I mean, it could be a couple months, but if they've never done it, it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while. So it's going to be mm, fun. This ought to be interesting. I've, I've got a sense, I've got an innate sense that I'm going to be brilliant at this. But So what do I do? Uh, first, we'll have you put the helmet on. That protects your eyes and hair and everything. And from... it matches my outfit. There this, you go. This part, there goes. Yep, okay. Just like that. Oh, it's tight. All right, yeah. got that on. And then you need your gloves for oh, yes. protect you from the heat. All right, cool. And then. Oh, what's this? This is the torch. Oh, is that where you, you fire it up with the butane, with yeah. the lighter and stuff? Well, no, you just push the trigger. Oh, okay. And the wire comes out. What you want to do is hit that. All right. And <laughs> go ahead and grab that. What is the wire part for? That's the metal that create uh, bonds these two together. Oh, I see. Okay. It just fills in the gap, and it's got gas that goes through to heat it up. Okay. And keep everything clean. Cool. So what so you're going what's to... actually shooting out of here? Is it? What it's do we a... use to make the heat? Um, it's electricity mm -hmm. okay. and gas. Oh, what kind of gas? It's a uh, argon and uh, compressed gas. Argon. Yeah. Ar <laughs> I had to. <laughs> so the argon, compressed gas, electricity shoots out of here with the little filamenty thing. I touch it to the metal, sparks fly, things weld. Yep, basically. I told you I was brilliant. And okay. people get burnt. That's. <sighs> All right. Can I can I actually do it at a distance? <laughs> That's the way we do it. We'll just stand back. All right. Okay. Well, then you better stand out of the way because I am a beginner. But I'm gonna uh, put my thing down first. Uh, well, you gotta keep it up first, so oh, you I can do. see. Yeah. When okay. you get close, you want to keep this at an angle. Okay. And when you're ready, you just. <laughs> but you gotta keep. That's the same noise everybody I'm else sorry, makes. <laughs> <laughs> Generally not the, not the pitch of sound you oh, hear no, in yeah. a welding shop. Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Well, I feel better. <laughs> okay. So the first I have to. No, you just leave it the way. Leave it, it is. the way it is. Yep. Did something fall off? This used to be longer. Yeah. Oh, there's a big reel on that that oh. it comes through here. So it's a long, cool. long thing of wire. Cool. And you just hold it down when it gets going. All right. Okay. So let me step back here. Right, yeah, please do. Now, I, is that the right angle? I'm not going to do it yet. Yeah, that's pretty. Like you can, that? Yeah, get a little bit closer. <laughs> okay, like that? Yep. All right, and then, put this down, right? Yep, and then when you hit it, just keep holding it and pull it back. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. Woo! Did the lights just go out or was that me? What's that? Okay, more? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, wow, I didn't do anything. Yay! All right, I'm going to try it again, and it'll be much better this time, I promise. Okay, here we go. Well, you, you can't keep backing up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody welds in their own way. Mine is the reverse and back weld. Reverse and back. You know, you. I made a really messy, sloppy, pathetic weld that probably won't hold anything. What now, you, can do you show me how to do it right. And I'm gonna back up. Oh, you're supposed to have a shield on, but. Oh, well, here, use mine. Safety first. Great. This is great. Now you're gonna see how welding is usually done, as opposed to the way I do it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't see anything but pretty sparks. Oh, now see, that's much better. That's not gonna fall off. No. But That's fabulous. We'll and let you, you try would, it again. You would do something like this over and over and over again for all these little pieces and yes. parts and different things. All right, well, I'm going to place this there and put my helmet back on. All right, it's at the angle. And... That one looks just as bad as the last ones, but it's really, really fun. And it's actually, there's, there's quite a bit of skill to this. Yeah. There, there really is. And... Rather than waste perfectly good <laughs> argon compressed gas and electricity anymore, I take my, what is this called? Safety uh, hat, welding? Welding helmet. I take my welding helmet off to you, sir. <laughs> Another aspect of EDG is costuming. These are the masks for some of the Dark Knight characters. They are created from pictures and sketches and are made to look as realistic as possible out of foam, plexiglass, and synthetics. These eyes are painted to give the characters realistic expressions and, of course, realistic henchmen bodies.
beyond manufacturing and creating all these ideas and setting them all up, you need to be able to see them and you need to be able to hear them. And I am here with Ragnar. Who's going to help explain exactly how that works. Um, Ragnar, these don't look like lights and microphones and what is all this stuff and how does it turn into audio and visual? Well, it's not very exciting to look at it this way. It's just a bunch of boxes. Um, but basically we have uh, audio capabilities to do major productions at uh, venues like Georgia Dome, Chastain Park Amphitheater, and we can provide concert and production services to virtually any kind of a client. We have uh, L Acoustics brand uh, mm -hmm. PA systems, which is the finest in the world, and we're the only people in the state of Georgia that, that own this. Ooh. Yeah. Now, when you say major venue, do you go by like how many people you're actually going to be performing for, like 100,000 or Yeah, that's, 000. that's what we base it on, the size of the venue and the number of people that we need okay. to be able to uh, you know, provide for, and our, our PAs are scaled and structured to that. We can do anything from as small as you know, a 20 person mm -hmm. you know, birthday party all the way up to <laughs> you know, 80,000 people going crazy at the dome. Yeah, I want to so. see some of these road cases rolling in to Timmy's at a birthday party. <laughs> we, they do, they really do. So. That must be some birthday party. Yeah. Can you get me an invite? Maybe. Excellent. There's a 10-year-old party next Tuesday. Are you available? Definitely. If it involves this kind of stuff, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest event you've ever done? Oh, wow. That would, uh, I wouldn't want to insult any of the clients that I might be missing, but you know, our clients are uh, a lot of the major churches in mm -hmm. Atlanta, Destiny Metro, mm -hmm. and New Birth, and Johnson Surrey Baptist Church. Yeah. And we do um, City of Atlanta, Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, Chastain Park Amphitheater. Wow. Um, we, did, we just recently did the NHL All-Star events at Phillips Arena, which was a gigantic production. It was a lot of fun. Um, so pretty much we've done, we, we do presidential events. We do... Wow. Everything there now, is. Now, do you go out on site and, and to help and set this stuff up? Yeah, and get it all going? yeah, I do. We uh, we take care of the warehouse, and then you know when we want to get out of here and have some fun, we go out and do the shows too. So yeah. you guys can set this up and break it down again relatively quickly, right? You've got quite a system that's yeah. just like boom, 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 plug this in, and even though it looks fantastically complicated from where so, some things take longer, like the initial All Star Game that took uh, five. 14-hour days and wow. um, an army of people to get into place and set up and some shows we can have them you know up and running in four hours and out in four hours so it, it so really varies depending on the whatever your needs are we can do it you can do we it we can do it well I know better than anyone else be <laughs> naturally humble and yet somehow proud at the same time well I know that you got to get all of these moved out for uh, an event so don't let me keep you well actually you just I need this box that you're really? on right now. Well, so. by all means, take it, because you know what? These shoes are cute, but they aren't. See, this is much better. As we all know, if you live in Georgia, you don't watch the ball drop in New York, you watch the peach drop in Underground, and you guessed it, another EDG production. With live music, fireworks, and a giant peach, is there anything that they can't do? Did you ever have a kaleidoscope as a kid? Hold it up to the sun and turn the little lever and all the lights and colors and patterns go through it. Well, when kaleidoscopes grow up, they turn into these cool things. And I am here with Carl. He's going yeah. to explain what this is and maybe even let me play with the buttons. Carl, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Uh, well, nice to meet you. And you have the best toys, I gotta say. It is fun. It is. It is <laughs> you, you gotta love your job. You know, it's for long hours and a lot of the hard work we do. You really have to love and be dedicated to what we're doing. You know? Now, what are these? Just what are they? Well, these are high-end studio spot moving lights. Okay. Do they have like one great big light bulb in them? Uh, yes. There's basically one large lamp in the bottom, okay. and that projects the light out through a lens, then we have these small gobos which you can actually project images from these lights. What's a, what's a gobo? A gobo is a, like a candy. Ooh, I can gobos. actually, if you look up, oh, I can yeah. actually project images. Yeah. So a gobo is those little teeny tiny patterned lenses that are correct. That are in the and you can and you can also get custom ones. So if a client comes to you and oh. say, we want to have a picture of our daughter or we want to have our name like, you know, for any for type of corporate event, or event like, or something. like we can the, take their co company name. Like the lighting name. of the big great treat. Correct, Macy's. Yeah. We have Macy's Gobos where we'll project Macy's and project that up there and we can change it to any color oh. it wants. Oh. You know, make it spin, rotate, have all types nice. of effects in it. That's awesome. And this 
board here with all these buttons and spinny things is what is controlling that. Correct. They, these are all controlled by computer, and it's all computer. Before, they used to o use older consoles like this. Okay. It's just a, like sliders, not as much fun. Which has faders. Well, each one of these lights have, because you're adding more things to it, mm -hmm. each operation that it does needs a fader. Well, okay. what they did is, instead of having a board that's 50 feet long, yeah. they computerized yeah. everything. So we this can sit there. And what, what can I do? Here, let's, let's clear everything out for a second, and okay. let's let you move them wherever you want. Okay. <laughs> now, right here, this controls your tilt. Oh, all right. And cool. this will control your pan. Tilt and pan. Tilt so and you pan. can control it, and if you all want right. to uh, uh, oh, look at that. move it in someone's, uh, yeah. move it to a position like tilt this. Tilt means back and forth, and pan means in a circle? Correct, in the, in the circle. Okay, so I'm circle. Can I tilt and pan at the same time? Yes, you can. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and focus them. Now, th they're moving... Can They're I moving control together. One and then the other? Oh, they are moving together. Yes. So oh, I don't want to do that. No, wait. This is like those those arcade games that I was so good at as a child. All right, now I'm now just do the that. tilt. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now these are really, really super, super bright. So if I accidentally tilt, we'll bring it into the intensity your face. down for you. Okay. How so. do I make the pretty colors happen? Now let's go here. If we choose color. Now you have cyan, magenta, and yellow. Oh, you can add magenta. it and mix it to any Ooh, color you that want. I can do manually? Wait, mm -hmm. nothing's happening. So, Am I doing it wrong? No. Oh, I'm just Turn not it. doing it enough. <laughs> and now you can see the blue ah, coming excellent. in. Excellent. So I can mix, I can do these at the same time too? At the too? same time. And you Sweet. can make any color that you could possibly imagine, any color of the rainbow. Wow. I, I could totally get into playing with these for hours and days and months and years. <laughs> oh, I'm making purple. I love purple. Excellent. Well, this has been really, really cool. And uh, can I pick up one of these at my neighborhood lighting shop? They're just hanging around, maybe? No, it's going to be kind of hard to pick just one of these up. Each one of these uh, brand new is the equivalent of a, of a new car. Okay. Well, then, I won't mess around with them anymore. <laughs> it's, it's okay. But, uh, you know, before I go, I have this great idea. A little gobo that says, the job, Tommy Patterson. Huh? Huh? I think we can work on that. Yay, I'll be looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to practice my colors just a little bit more. Okay. Maybe a lovely magenta for that.